Hey guys, my name is Karis and welcome to the Baddie Block for show. In today's video, we will be discussing what main character energy is, how you can create main character energy in your life, and how confidence plays a role in your ability to tap into your main character energy. If you lack confidence, have body image issues, or you battle with self-doubt and finding a balance in your life that prioritizes yourself and your happiness, babe, you've come to the right place. This video will be a hard reality for some of you, but a great awakening for those of you who want to be proactive and work on yourself starting from within. Just rock with me for a moment while I put things into perspective and show you exactly why this video is nine times out of 10 for you. According to statistics, 85% of women do not feel that they are attractive and only 23% of women feel confident in the way that they look. Meaning out of every five women, Four of those women have some sort of issue in the way that they look. They have body image issues like eating disorders or body dysmorphic disorder, or they have some sort of limiting belief or self-doubt in their appearance. When I initially heard about main character energy, it was usually referenced in a way of being the center of attention, whether it was in public settings, in your friend group, or amongst other peers, but it's much deeper than that. Being the center of attention is only an after effect of the real reason why you possess that energy, why you're able to capture everyone in the room, why you outshine others when you're in public settings, etc. And when you truly outshine others and exude that main character energy, it's coming from within. It doesn't start with your appearance. It starts with your confidence. Main character energy is a characteristic that describes how a person prioritizes themselves and their own happiness. And this is done by having high self-confidence, self-respect, and self-love. And you may be thinking, okay, I understand what confidence is. I understand what self-love is. And I also understand what self-respect is. But how do I work on those things within myself in order to step into my own main character energy and exude that energy and that confidence when I'm around other people, other women, other men, whoever. But don't worry, babe, because I got you. After today, you will have the blueprint on how to implement habits into your lifestyle in order to build your confidence, your self-respect, and your self-love, and be able to step in any room, any situation, any place, and exude that main character energy effortlessly. And you will become her today. Number one, the power in being confident. When you think about confidence, you think about not being perfect, but being so confident in yourself, in your flaws, in your insecurities, to be able to still step into wherever it is that you go in and know that I don't care what I lack or what I don't have or how little of something I may have. I am still that girl and can't nobody tell me anything differently. It's about healing your insecurities and being okay with what you do have, with what God has blessed you with and allowing that to work for you and to present you in a light to where you are confident, you love yourself, you respect yourself so much so that it doesn't matter how much of something or how little of something you have, you still are going to exude that main character energy and have that confidence of light that surrounds your aura. And the first step in building your confidence is acknowledging the things that you allow to destroy your confidence. And I say allow because a lot of times we are so hard on ourselves, we are so hard on our images because of how others may look, what society deems as beautiful, when no, you be your own type of beautiful, you build your own confidence. You don't have to have an hourglass shape to be a baddie. You don't have to wear makeup to be a baddie and that's the reason why i try not to wear my makeup as much on my youtube channel because i want you guys to see that like regardless of anything i'm confident in me i don't have to put on makeup i can still get my message across i can still have the same impact on people and i can still have that same light and that energy about myself bare face no weave natural hair and everything period and that's what true confidence is. And I'm going to teach you guys exactly how you're going to step into your confidence zone and you're going to create and become and embody your main character energy. I want you to get a piece of paper and write down how you genuinely feel about yourself. Write down the things that you dislike, write down your insecurities that you have 
And also write down how you feel about your body image. What are the things that you dislike about your image? Maybe you wish you had hips or maybe you feel like your thighs are just too big or maybe you feel like you got a big bag. I don't, I don't know. But write down the things that you have instilled in your mind or other people have said about you that have scarred you to believe in these false idealizations of yourself. Really think about it. The things that are keeping you from really being confident. What is it about yourself and about your image that you do not like that is limiting you and keeping you from being the person that you are meant to be and stepping into your main character energy? Right next to each of those things, I want you to write, why do you feel this way? Were you bullied or teased about it in school as a child? Do you have an ex who brought up things on Mad Day and made you feel away? Are you comparing yourself to other women or women in your friend group who you deem may be prettier or have more than you? And if you don't remember, that's fine. You can leave it blank. But the goal is to really try to remember where this insecurity started and how it started, where it came from in order for you to debunk that insecurity and that false perception that you've allowed to rest in your mind. Now, I want you to get a second piece of paper and everything that you wrote down on your first piece of paper, that first column as to your insecurities, I want you to now flip those into positive affirmations and positive comments about yourself and put that on that piece of paper. So if you put, I hate my body shape, I want you to write a positive affirmation and say something like, I love my body shape. She is unique to me and that's the biggest flex that I have. She is not like any other body and she operates at her best in her highest self. And you write that down to switch that negative thought, comment, or insecurity that you've instilled in your mind or you've allowed someone else to instill in your mind and you change that narrative. And if you simply can't think of a positive affirmation, then you can Google a affirmation according to the issue that you have. So like I said, if you have a body image issue, Google positive affirmations for body image issues or positive affirmation for body image, um, positive affirmation to build confidence, positive affirmation in my looks to feel prettier. Whatever it is that you wrote on that list, if you Google a positive affirmation, just put that subject that you wrote and it'll pop up some positive affirmations and you write the one that resonates the most with you, your situation and your insecurity. The paper with the negative comments, negative insecurities, I want you to take that piece of paper and I want you to burn it. And as you're burning it, you're going to say out loud and you're going to repeat it until that piece of paper is burned, ashes, okay? I release the stronghold of the false perceptions I've allowed myself or other people to inflict on me and rest rent-free in my thoughts, feelings, and emotions. As I burn the negativity away, I am giving myself permission to let it go and the harsh words ever said to me. From this day forward, I speak life, positivity, and love into and over my life, and so it is. And from that point forward, once you've said that and you've burned that piece of paper and it's now ashes, babe, you have a clean slate. It does not rest in you. It's not limiting you. You have all the power in your hands now. Do not focus on the things that you put on that paper moving forward. And at any time when you start to feel those insecurities or you start to think those limiting beliefs, you're going to find a positive affirmation and you're going to repeat that bad boy as often as you need to, as much as you need to, until you can train your mind to think that I don't have that issue. That is not a me issue. It's a false perception that I've allowed to rest in my head rent free and I'm no longer allowing that to limit me, dictate how I feel about myself and allow me to rest in that low energy. No, we're resting in main character energy moving forward. Day to day, what helped me the biggest when I was going through my insecurities and my body image issues, I dressed with intention. So each day when I would wake up, I would focus on clothes that made me feel good. I would pick things that made me feel good, that looked good on me, that fit my body type. And as of late, I have been focusing on color psychology or fashion psychology. And basically it's when you dress according to colors and their meanings. So uh, color red may represent strength, um, power, the color black 
represents sophistication, power, strength, um, courage. The color yellow represents happiness. Um, it's fun. Whatever it is that you are wanting to feel, you wear that color and you find a positive affirmation to speak into your life so that you can feel good. Number two, self-respect. At the beginning of building self-respect, know that being intentional will make or break you. And you have to also understand that on this journey of self-respect, no will become a common sentence in your life. And understand that no is a complete sentence. You don't have to follow anything with it. If your answer is no, answer is no. Simple as that, no. Why? No, because I said so. I said no. No is all you need. If you want to provide an explanation, that's fine. But nine times out of 10, babe, no. Mm-mm, not doing it. That just don't really work out for me. We're no longer taking one for the team, especially when it means sacrificing yourself your time, your energy, or your peace. No, ma'am, it costs too much. So we're not doing that. Self-respect is not only creating boundaries for yourself, but it's also creating boundaries with other people. Because if you allow other people to use you, they definitely will. And they will drain you and take from you without ever pouring back into you. And now that your cup is empty and you need someone to pour back into you to give you some strength, to give you some love, advice, whatever it is you need in that point of time, there's no no one that can give it to you, but you've given out all your energy and all of your knowledge, all of your time for other people who have nothing to offer to pour back into you. And you have to be cool with people being upset and mad about it. Oh, well, you have to get over it, babe. If you don't understand that and that's an issue for you, then you're not for me. Simple as that. I know that saying no is a challenge because i used to be a people pleaser as well and it was hard for me to tell people no so if you want a video on creating boundaries and the power of saying no and when your no should be a yes in order to maintain healthy relationships while navigating through life comment down below and i got you number three self-love self-love is so broad and it varies from person to person something that you do for your self-care day or for self-love may not work for other people. So self-love is based on your interests and what you like to do. Ask yourself, what makes you feel good? What is it that relaxes you, that makes you happy? And it's also important to jot down things that are free as well, because you know, we all go through certain time periods in life where the funds don't be funding like that. <laughs> so write down things that you like to do that are free, like reading a book, um, drinking a glass of wine, taking a bubble bath, listening to music, painting your nails from home, um, watching a movie on Netflix, binge watching your favorite show. It's important to write things that you can do that you can pay for, that you love doing, as well as things that you like to do that doesn't cost anything. You can do that from the comforts of your own home. Understand that when you're practicing self-care, that is showing you how to love yourself. Self-care builds the confidence and self-love and when you learn how to love on yourself and you're comfortable with being by yourself and doing things for yourself and really catering to your mental your physical your emotional and your spiritual needs that is teaching you how to love respect and build confidence within yourself and you incorporate self-care into your routine as often as you want or as little as you want me personally, I focus on self-care every day because I believe that it's important for me to be at a mental capacity to not only get on here and have the energy that I need to provide the information for you guys to help you guys through your life and your traumas and your struggles, but it also helps me to like detach as well because I don't know if you guys know it or not, but me hopping on here talking about things that I've already gone through that energy and those feelings and how I felt and tapping into that time where I was going through it takes a lot from me emotionally and spiritually. So I'm always having to really focus on my self-care. So every day I am doing something that I enjoy. When I drink water for my wine glass, that to me makes me feel just so bougie. It makes me feel so good. It makes me feel so dainty and prissy and you know, just like, girl, you got it made. So all the times that I drink water throughout the day, 
I am drinking it out of my wine glass and it's it's water. You know, it's not wine, it's not alcohol, it's nothing but water, but that makes me feel good. At the end of the night, I like to detach. And by the time my daughter gets home from school, I, I don't like to have to still focus on editing or content. There are some days that I still have to focus on that. So I will stay up later in order to get that self-care in, whether it's praying, watching some light that's not really just so deep and so, um, you know, thought provoking. And that really helps me. So self-care does not have to be an everyday thing for you if it's something that's not feasible for you or it's something that you don't necessarily need to do every day. I would recommend trying to at least get 30 minutes in. If you can get at least 30 minutes in, because I know life be life and you may be a full-time mom, a full-time student, um, you may work a full-time job. So the time may not be as available for you as it is for others. And that's fine. You work it into it. So building confidence is really pivotal in life because when you build confidence, you can rest in who you are and your existence freely, peacefully, and without self-doubt. There are times where you will, where your confidence may be challenged because that's just life. Nothing is ever a hundred percent. There's a, no such thing as being perfect, but it's important to understand that when you feel yourself going into that negative space, that negative thought process, you can reevaluate what you're doing. Why is it making you feel this way? And you can change that in that moment and not let it fester into your system and manifest more negative thoughts into your mind. So it's important to focus on what you're thinking about. Think about positive things. Always be open and available to reach for positive affirmations. Reach for that piece of clothing that makes you feel the best. Reach for those pair of shoes that makes you feel confident. Like focus on things that make you feel confident during your lack of confidence. And that will help you to build that resistance to be able to shift how you feel negatively about yourself in that moment. And if you implement these strategies into your lifestyle, into your routine, and you be proactive and productive with building your confidence and really focusing on letting go of the past things that you've allowed to create these false idealizations and insecurities within your mind, you will then be able to operate life on the highest level with the highest confidence. That is all for this video. Do not forget what I said. Anything that you put on that burn paper, baby, let that shit burn. And we're not thinking about it no more. And it's going to take some time because you've probably been having this negative thought process for years. So anytime that you do find yourself going back to some of those things on that list or all of the things on your list, no, you shift your thought. You be proactive and be intentional and you be like, no, I'm not going to allow you to rest here anymore. You have to go. And if you have to say that out loud, say it. Find a positive affirmation to shift that. If I'm sitting here right now and I'm bloated and I'm like, girl, you look nasty. No, I'm not going to think that. I'm going to be like, nah, I still look good. Bloated and all. Bloating is a part of life. There's things that you can do to minimize bloating, but bloating still happens. It happens to the skinniest people. Like, you get bloated sometimes, babe. It's all right. Like, suck that fat in and keep on going. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> I like to make light of situations, so I hope I didn't offend anybody with that. But no, seriously, like, girl, suck that shit in and keep it moving. Like, it'll be down to by tomorrow. Go to sleep, wake up, it'll be gone by tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I pray that you have gotten something from this video. And comment down below, what thing are you going to work on to build your confidence? And let's get the conversation going because it's important that we help one another, we pull one another. I, like I said, I am probably the most confident person you can be around. So babe, I'm gonna pull you up with me. I'm not leaving you. So come on, get your shit together and come on, let's go. Get your books, get your journals, get your planner whatever it is you need and come on let's go we're going on this we're going on this journey together i'm here for y'all so don't forget to subscribe and pull up on my block for show sure. thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye